FTC teams and fans, and welcome to the January 27th, 2014 edition of FTC News. I'm Grant. And I'm Rachel. We begin today by extending a huge thank you to everyone watching this video. The response has been tremendous, and we are very grateful for your support. So far, over 7,000 of you have watched our first show, and many of you have sent in story suggestions. Please keep them coming. If your team has something cool to share or just wants a shout out, let us know. You can reach out to us on email or on Twitter with the contact information displayed at the end of this show. Today on our show, we're bringing you results from the last exciting FTC qualifier in Minnesota, which took place last Saturday. After 36 great matches, Team 5330 Robotic Rush from Prior Lake, Minnesota was on top of the leaderboard with 10 qualifier points. Rounding out the top five teams were Team 7152 Robot Squad from Rochester, Minnesota, Teams 2887 Bucket Brigade, and 3763 Piece of Cake from Edina, Minnesota, and Team 7165 Robotic Surge from Prior Lake, Minnesota. In semifinal round one, the Red Alliance, captained by Robotic Rush, pulled out a win against Piece of Cake Alliance, winning 189 to 180. You know that FTA guy with the beaver hat? The guy looks like that. Two, one, that's, uh, that's a go. Oh. In semifinal round two, the Robot Squad Red Alliance won by a wide margin over the Bucket Brigade Alliance, 133 to 57. In championship round one, the Robotic Rush Alliance slammed the Robot Squad Alliance, winning by a score of 245 to 104. The trend continued into the final championship round as the Robotic Rush Alliance again dominated, winning 181 to 102. As many of us know, the Inspire Award is given to the team that truly embodied the challenge of the FTC program. The team that received this award is chosen by the judges as having the best represented role model FTC team. This team is a top competitor for all other judging categories and is a strong competitor on the field. The Inspire Award winner is an inspiration to other teams acting with gracious professionalism both on and off the playing field. This team is able to communicate their experiences, enthusiasm, and knowledge to other teams, sponsors, and the judges. Working as a unit, this team will have demonstrated success in accomplishing the task of creating a working and competitive program. During the award ceremony at the last Minnesota FTC qualifier for the 2013-2014 season, Team 4644 Robotic Adrenaline from Prior Lake was selected for the Inspire Award. 
Also nominated were teams 2887 Bucket Brigade from Edina, Minnesota, and team 5314 Blue Nova from Egan, Minnesota. Robotic Adrenaline also won the Motivate Award. Other award winners from Saturday's qualifier include Team 6721, the Pink Panthers, from Columbia Heights, Minnesota, who won the Judges Award, Team 7152, Robot Squad, from Rochester, Minnesota, who won the Stratasys Award for their awesome 3D printed part, and the PTC Design Award for their excellent CAD designs. Team 7165, Robotic Surge, from Prior Lake, Minnesota, won the Rockwell Collins Innovative Award, Team 5736 Stormbots from Victoria, Minnesota won the Connect Award. Team 2887 Bucket Brigade from Edina, Minnesota won the Control Award for their innovative use of IR detectors. And Team 4140 Fish in the Boat won the Think Award for their excellent engineering notebook. Congratulations to all the teams that attended Saturday's Minnesota FTC Qualifier. Here is the list of the teams that qualified at this event to attend the Minnesota FTC Stratasys State Championship coming up February 22nd, 2014 in Prior Lake, Minnesota. That means the team selection for the Minnesota FTC Stratasys State Championship is set. Here is a complete list of the 36 teams that have qualified to attend. LazyBot's team is very excited to see everyone there and participate in this great event. In other news, many FTC teams this season have been managing a major issue with Tetrix DC motors. According to several reports, and our own investigation, some motors were manufactured with a plastic gear in place of what used to be a brass gear. As you can see in this image, the plastic gear will strip out when the motor is placed under heavy load. According to Tony Allen, a representative from Pitts Co. who supplied the DC motors to LEGO, they are aware of the issue and are beginning to send out replacement gearboxes. On the official FTC Q&A forums, the Game Design Committee has ruled that it is legal to replace gearboxes only on affected DC motors. As teams here are preparing to attend the Minnesota FTC Stratasys State Championship, some teams in Michigan are already set to advance the North Star FTC Super Regional Competition. The state championship in Michigan took place on December 20th and December 21st, 2013. The following teams have qualified to advance. 7048, the Purple Protons. 6543, Bolon Bronco. 6134, Black Frog Robotics. 7023, Hexasonics. 5311, Geeks, Gears, and Gadgets. 7032, The Thunderbolts. 5237, Loose Screws. 6689, Robo Rockets. 5954, The Lightning Bolts. 5391, Enigma Puzzlers. And 6079, The Bionic Broncos. Let's take a look at some videos from a match at this championship event. this episode of FTC News. Join us on our next episode when we'll take a look at some FTC qualifier and state championship news from around the world as we prepare for this fantastical, wonderful, super awesome event that is the FTC World Championships. I'm Rachel. And I'm Grant. See you again next time.